hello everyone today in this video we'll be discussing the module 2 of uh, 21 mat 11 and uh, in this topic we have uh, what are the important uh, topics are uh, mclaurin series l hospitals rule and partial and total differentiation jacobian problems and how to find out the maximum and minima okay so these are the important topics which we'll be discussing in this module and let's get started with the first one which is the uh, mclaurin and taylor series so from exam perspective only the mclaurin series is asked so i'll be solving that uh, problems only okay <coughs> So, uh, the first question is expand log uh, 1 plus cos x using Maclaurin series. Okay, uh, so the steps here which you have to follow is whatever the equation they give, you have to write it as y is equal to log 1 plus cos x. And after that, find out what is y of 0. What does y of 0 mean? Wherever you will find x here, put it as 0 and find out what is the answer. So, in this case, the answer is log 2. After you have got the value of y of 0, you have to find out y1. To y1 to find out y1 differentiate this with respect to x so you will get y1 so if you differentiate this with respect to x you will get as 1 by cos x uh, and uh, into minus sin x so that is uh, y1 and if you put zeros wherever you find here you will get y1 of 0 same thing goes for y2 also differentiate y1 to get y2 and after that put the uh, value of um, x as 0 here and what answer you get that's the value of y2 of 0 same thing goes for y3 find out y3 put y3 of 0 and find out the answer and after that you have to write the uh, series in this form this is the series now y of x is equal to y of 0 plus x power 1 by 1 factorial y1 of 0 x power 2 by 2 factorial y2 of 0 x power 3 by 3 factorial and y3 of 0 so this is the order in which the uh, equation goes we have found out what is the value of uh, y1 of 0 y2 of 0 and y3 of 0 just substitute those values and simplify the equation to get the final answer okay so this is what happens in the Maclaurin series and uh, these are steps to be followed in all the questions okay and the next topic is the L hospitals rule and here the question could be of this, uh, this type find the limit and the limit will be given here and uh, means our equation will be given here so uh, substitute the value of x as 0 and find out what is the answer if you get as 0 by 0 you have to apply the L hospital rule what does L hospital rule say it says that uh, differentiate the numerator and the denominator with respect to x and then again substitute the values of x as 0 and find out if you are getting a constant value or not so here if I differentiate the numerator and denominator by x what I get is uh, cos x by 1 and cos 0 is 1 so I am getting a valid answer okay so that's how you use the L hospital rule another type of question could be like this here you have to take the log if you take the log on both sides what you get is log k is equal to c k is equal to this one if you take log log k is equal to limit will be from uh, x to 0 and uh, this is the answer which you get here and after that if you take the log you will uh, get 1 by x outside and this is the answer in the inside and then you uh, put it as 0 means uh, substitute the value of x as 0 and you will get 0 by 0 so that's the wrong answer so we'll apply the l hospital rule we'll differentiate the numerator as well as the denominator when we differentiate that we'll get this answer and by that we can find out what is the value of k it is uh, cube root of AB, uh, abc okay that's the final thing which you have to do after you find out the value of k you'll be just um, where we had used k here we had used k right so the answer of this one will be equal to like uh, we have taken this as k so the answer will be this uh, means whatever we got as k okay so that's how you apply the hospital rule in both cases and uh, the next one is the partial differentiation so the question could be as uh, uh, follows r square is equal to x minus a whole square y minus b whole square z minus c whole square so in most of the times you may get uh, like uh, two or three variables so uh, in that case you have to uh, keep note of three things dr by x r is dependent on x y and z right and c is the constant a b c are the constant so we need not consider that so uh, to differentiate it you will be differentiating this one as well as this one so what you get is um like r square is equal to x square x minus a whole square y minus b whole square z minus c whole square when you differentiate partially with respect to x partially differentiating means what if you dif uh, differentiate partially y uh, y and z will be considered as constant so th this will be out and just this is uh, this left right so it will be 2r is equal to 2 into x minus a and uh, yeah that's all 2r is equal to uh, 2 into x minus a r is equal to x minus a uh, actually not r dr by dx okay dr by dx is equal to x minus a that's uh, the thing which you will get and uh, there is 2r so it will be actually 2r dr by dx is equal to 2 into x minus a so uh, dr by dx is this one what is dr by dx, uh, dx whole square x minus a whole square by r square and uh, same thing goes for y as well when you will do the same thing for y you will get an answer here um this one okay this is the answer which you get here actually this is for the z1 and for the y also you will get here this is the answer which you get for y and after that uh, you just have to add the three terms which you got in the uh, equation 1 2 and 3 when you add these three terms at that time what answer you get is uh, equal to 1 so therefore it's proven that the partial differentiation of r with respect to x with respect to y and with respect to z whole squares uh, sum is equal to 1 okay 
uh, this is one of the application of uh, partial derivative in partial derivative what you do if you have x and y and if you partially differentiate with respect to x at that time you are just uh, differentiating x and keeping y as constant so if you keep y as constant you can take y outside and it will be uh, just y like uh, the answer of dx by dx will be 1 so the answer is just y okay but in case if you are doing uh, total differentiation like uh, the normal differentiation of x y at that time uh, what will happen is uh, u dash v plus u v dash will be uh, happening so u dash v plus u into v dash this is the uh, answer in case if it's a uh, normal differentiation okay that's about the difference between partial and the normal differentiation whatever question they ask in the exam all you have to do is just apply the formula like if you are differentiating with respect to x or if you are uh, differentiating with respect to y or z in each cases make sure that it's uh, just with x not with uh, y or z and keep the other terms as constant same thing goes for here and here as well okay so that was about the uh, partial derivative let's see how what is the question what are the type of questions that could be asked in the topic uh, total derivative in total derivative you have the this term here u is equal to f of y minus z x z minus x and x minus y then show that uh, del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z uh, means del u by uh, uh, yeah del z is equal to zero okay so firstly you have to find out what is del u by del x del y del uh, del z so here there's a slight difference because um, del u by del x you can't directly find because it's associated with z here and with y here so what you are supposed to do is you have to just write here f of y minus z z minus x x minus y and take the um, values as p is equal to uh, y minus z q is equal to z minus x and r is equal to x minus y after you have done that uh, dp by dx is equal to 0 dp by dy is equal to 1 dp by dz is equal to minus 1 just partially differentiate uh, with respect to x y and z for each of these okay so the answers which you get here are these answers and by using these answers you will be uh, solving like uh, del u by del x is equal to see what is del u by del x finally what we need is u is equal to something is written here right so um, u is equal to f of y minus z z minus x x minus y so here the answer will be starting from del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z okay because that's what we have to prove here we have to find out each of these so the formula of del u by del x will be as follows okay there, uh, there is no direct formula you just have to write these formulas and uh, explain it in your own words so uh, del u by del x is equal to uh, del u by del p p by x u by p p by x then u by q q by x u by r r by x so when you add up these terms you will get this term here and same thing goes for del u by del y and uh, del u by del z as well so you will get three terms here and your final answer will be the addition of uh, these terms 1 3 and 4 if you add them up what you will get is del u by del x plus del u by del y plus uh, del u by del z is equal to 0 or ux plus ui plus uz is equal to 0 next one is the jacobians so jacobian of three variables u v w and x y z is written as follows and what you are supposed to do is if uh, for example u is equal to x square plus y square plus z square v is equal to this and z, uh, w is equal to this so you have to show this okay yeah show that this is equal to zero in that case what you have to do uh, you have to do is very simple uh, write u v and uh, w formula here differentiate uh, x y z partially with respect to x uh, and x uh, means u v and w and uh, means x y and z with u v and w okay so you'll get the answers here and we'll be using this answer in the equation the equation is as follows ux uy uz vx uy z u w uh, u x u uh, w x w y w z okay so in substitute these values here and find out what is the answer you'll get it as zero so this proves the uh, given question which is like uh, show that this is equal to zero Coming to the next topic which is maxima and minima for two variables uh, the question is find the extreme parts of the points of the function f of x y is equal to 2 into x square minus y square plus um, mm, uh, minus x power 4 plus y power 4 now when you have written this one differentiate with uh, partially with respect to x and y and uh, when you do that you will get df by dx and uh, df by del y from the max uh, mean function d, uh, del f by del x uh, is equal to 0 del f by del y is equal to 0 so We'll be substituting the values of del f by del x and del f by del y which you found here 4x minus 4x cube minus 4y plus 4y cube so anyway substitute those values here and then simplify again what we get is the values of x as uh, 0 and 1 and also y as 0 and 1 then the extreme points are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and uh, we'll have to do th uh, three things here del square f by del x square del uh, del square f by del x del y del square f uh, y uh, del square f by del y square so uh, when we uh, double differentiate it we'll get this answer it's represented as a and uh, this answer is as b this answer as c okay 
so that's all the, the points are here and the value of a is uh, means greater or smaller that will be considering any value in between this range and after that we'll be seeing which is the correct answer okay so they'll uh, in that you will get a minimum value maximum value and the saddle point okay so we are concerned with minimum and maximum of the function so minimum value will be 2 into 1 minus 0 which is equal to 1 and my this is the maximum value and the minimum value is 2 into 0 minus 1 or minus 0 plus 1 these are the weightest uh, sitting like the numbers which has to be added with the given equations here and after you do that you will get the answer 1 and minus 2 this is the maximum and this is the minimum point okay coming to the last topic which is the application of partial differentiation here we have to find out the maximum of x square plus y square plus z square when x plus uh, y plus z is equal to 3a now u is equal to this one and v is equal to this one which is equal to 3a and uh, so v will be equal to x plus y plus z minus 3a after that f is equal to u plus uh, lambda into v so what is u u is uh, nothing but x square plus y square plus z square so just substitute the values of x square y square and z square which is uh, 2x dx 2y dy and 2z dz when you differentiate it like in the both sides you have to differentiate right and after that when you differentiate this one also you'll get this answer here and uh, df is equal to 2x plus lambda into dx 2y plus lambda into dy 2z uh, minus lambda into dz so for maximum uh, maxima and the minimum df is equal to 0 2 into x plus uh, lambda is equal to 0 x uh, is equal to minus lambda by 2 and uh, since the value of df is equal to 0 this whole term uh, value should be equal to 0 so individually each of these terms with x y and z should be 0 so here uh, 2x plus lambda is equal to 0 2y plus lambda is equal to 0 uh, 2z plus lambda is equal to 0 so what is the value of uh, x y z here it is minus lambda by 2 okay so x plus y plus z is equal to 3a so therefore i can write it as minus 3 y 2 pi uh, means lambda is equal to 3a so uh, lambda minus lambda by 2 is equal to a lambda is equal to minus 2a okay then you can apply this formula x is equal to minus lambda which means in this question we have got minus lambda right so we'll be using that same thing here actually it's minus lambda by 2 so we'll be using that here x is equal to minus of minus lambda by 2 y is equal to minus of minus lambda by 2 z is equal to z of um, z is equal to minus into minus 2a by 2 so uh, it is lambda by 2 and uh, after simplifying what answer we get is a a a so x y z answer is a okay so what is the point a, a, a? that is nothing but um, a in the x direction a in the y direction and a in the z direction okay and the maximum value of u is equal to a square plus a square plus a square that is 3a square why i have taken this form is because in the question they have given that find out the maximum of this one so whenever we get the question like maximum of this one note down this equation and find out the values of the dx by uh, dr or uh, dy by d, uh, dr and uh, it means uh, by using uh, total derivatives you'll be finding out the answer and then you'll be substituting in this equation okay means the main equation which they have given okay so that's all basically it in the uh, module um, 2 of uh, 21 mat uh, 11 and uh, just practice more to get more better in the concepts and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one